There we go. It was disabled. Hello! Hello and welcome to Accidental Origin, your weekly writing web show. My name is Brendan. This is my show. It's different. Everything's different. I moved my stuff around uh, this week uh, to better utilize my space. Um, so yeah, there's a, there's a different view here. Uh, I'm liking the change a lot. Uh, I feel like my lighting's a little bit more consistent because I have it in better places in the room. More space for VR. Lots of good stuff. Lots of good stuff. Um... Hmm. Uh, so yeah, on that note, if there's any uh, weirdness with the audio or lighting or video settings, please let me know. Uh, I restored all the stuff that I had done before, but uh, with any sort of endeavor like this, it's always tweaking. Always, always tweaking. Hello, Drani. And I did see your message as well, McKelly. Welcome. Welcome. To be honest, because of how busy I've been this week with uh, people visiting from out of town and, and stuff like that, that I haven't really planned what I was going to do today. Um, I had a few different thoughts, uh, but I hadn't had to come up with anything super, super com concrete. Was I writing today? No, I was setting up my room. I had to move some stuff, fix my settings, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Why? Did I miss messages? My phone's in the other room. Maybe I, maybe I should get that. Um, yeah. I reinstalled my OS. So everything's a little bit weird. two hours. What do you want from me? <laughs> yeah. Writing. Writing. Concepts. Today, I think what I want to do is I want to work on some outlines. come up with a few ideas in the last couple of days and I kind of want to just put them down on paper and expand on them and maybe get some notes in for stuff that we can work on in the future. Um, I did want to work on Fear the Siren this week, but I don't have all my software set up, so I <laughs> can't really do it today, uh, unfortunately. But I should be getting back to that next week. Because again, we want to finish things. We want to finish things here. So yeah, 
I will make this bigger. <laughs> awesome, McKelly. Uh, what kind of character are you playing? What kind of setting is it? What are you guys doing? Give me some deets. Tell me some stories. Good morning. Awesome, man. I, uh, I know what you mean. <laughs> I woke up this morning and I was like, oh yeah, I haven't, I haven't moved the couch, or the, and I haven't installed OBS, and I uh, didn't check to see if anything was working. <laughs> I was like, oh, I should probably, I should probably do that. That would be, a, that would be a good idea. Uh, no, I, um, I move my office around. So, like, uh, I move my desk, like, forward, like, three or four feet. Um, so, like, before, I would have been sitting here, facing that way. But it just opens up the room a little bit better. So I have like a permanent lighting setup like there, and then I have a second, a, a third light, which I can move there. Um, and then, yeah, there's just more space. So this was always, uh, if you've seen any of my other, The, this is mirrored, but uh, the bookshelves you see behind me right now, I'll go back to the, are these bookshelves here. Yeah, it's a it's a dry erase board. Yeah, so this is uh, this is the bookshelves you see behind me. But yeah, I just moved it all sort of to the side and I changed the orientation of the desk, sort of. But yeah, yeah, the, uh, the, the dry erase board is amazing. It's, uh, it's really cool. Hey Stevie, thanks, I appreciate it.
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's expensive to do, but it's really, really damn cool. That's awesome, Stevie. Just, uh, yeah, do something cool and productive. Oh, is it launching today? When, when is that going to be? Please, I, I need details. I need details. <laughs> you don't know? I forgot to tell you. This, this is this has been sitting on my desk for like ages and I just put it away <laughs> made a little little booklet of it when I was reading Going Still is Stevie Ray Drawn's webcomic that she has been working on for quite some time. <laughs> no, it's all good. It's all good. Technically, I asked about it, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. Because I've seen a bunch of the pages and I've read the scripts, but it's. Oh, cool. Um, so, yeah, um, how's the audio? Is it is it loud, quiet, um, typey, typey? Yeah, how does, how does my keyboard sound? That's what's most important here. Hey Richie, what's going on, man? Uh, I do write comics from time to time. I'm not by default a comic writer, though I did study screenwriting and all kinds of scripting uh, in college. So, a little bit. I love, uh, <laughs> it sounds clickety. Good, it's supposed to sound clickety. ever work for Dark Horse. Uh, I want to work for Dark Horse. I'm planning on submitting a package to them within the next uh, six months, probably. Uh, I have a project that I think would be really good for what they do. Uh, they're also one of the few publishers that take um, submissions without an artist, which is cool, because not a lot of places do that. I think now I probably could find an artist, now that I know a lot more artists in general. <laughs> uh, it'd be easier. But yeah. Oh, cool. Sure thing, man. I'll let you know. Asking what we were doing today, Johnny. I uh, decided today that I wanted to uh, do some concept work 
work on a few things that I uh, jotted down in the last couple of days uh, so I can do some stuff like that. Um, I kind of want to do what we uh, what they do in uh, film and television, which is what's called a one pager, which is basically just a single page version of the story. Um, I can talk a little bit about that. Things are going to be a little weird today, because like I said, all my settings are a little odd. Uh, yeah, well, this will be fine. Um, Stuff like this, we're just you know kind of have like a, a general summary of what it is. I'm gonna write out a couple of those today, just for funsies, because I don't have all my software. Scrivener, Hemingway, um, Trolby for script writing, um, what else do I use? I don't know, that's mostly it. I don't have any of my Photoshop or Adobe products installed. Ooh, that's bad. <laughs> I want to use Premiere Pro later. Final Draft, but I really don't want to pay for it. Because the version I have is super old, and the new version is significantly better, but I don't really want to spend 250 bucks on it. So I found a free version that also opens Final Draft scripts uh, that I really like because it's super, super simple. Like very 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 simplified. Um, have all the stuff you want with like uh, enter tap like your different uh, bits, auto complete and all that. That's what I was mean. Um, yeah, I just like it. it. Does everything that I want it to do, and it's free.
<laughs> yep. That's okay. I'm cool with that. There was. I have never seen it, but I've heard of it. Uh, but that wasn't really what I was going for. <laughs> it's a metaphorical submarine, not a literal submarine. But you know, it actually makes a lot of sense. If there was an apocalypse, that anyone on board a submarine would probably survive. <laughs> yeah, is that what it's called? Assuming it's even a radiation apocalypse, it doesn't necessarily have to be. about um, the way I conceptualize stories I I have a very uh, I have a tendency to do this kind of thing where I know that I'm gonna have these characters but I know nothing about them or have names for them or concepts but I know that those characters are gonna be there because they're useful that way And I, I, I also have the tendency, Spandau is a German prison that no longer exists. It's a real place, uh, and it is in Germany. I mean, the prison itself doesn't actually exist anymore. Oops, that's weird. That shouldn't be here.
really need to... S- oh, I was talking about this with my friend last night. Um, I don't want heavy technology, but at the same time, I want it to be somewhat modern. So I want certain types of technology. So I don't really want computers, but I want things like telephones and guns uh, to a certain extent. So I think like the 60s and 70s are probably where I want to be. Where, you know, it's modern, but not too modern. Um, But then I don't want it to be set like in the, in like 1960s. Like, our version of, like, uh, I don't want it to be set, like, in, uh, I don't want it to be, like, a historical story, like, an alternate history or something like that. I want it to be a similar setting, but not really a real place, Um, because I don't really want to base it on our own history. Yeah. Maybe. I think there's a lot more 70s stuff right now, but that could be just me. It's all a subject to change. I'm just uh, putting down the ideas I have at the moment, and then we can uh, figure it out, you know?
<laughs> no. Seven Deadly Sins is an anime. About seven criminals. It's not super popular uh, outside of Japan, uh, though it was picked up by Netflix. So people have watched it, it's just more of a... <laughs> yeah, but that's a little derivative, in my opinion, uh, from stuff I've seen, so... Uh, the seven he heavenly virtues are in hell. But again, that, that's a different thing. What? <laughs> well, you see this haircut? This haircut is my hipster status. Derivative is when something, yeah. Seven men with the same name. That's a really neat, uh, neat concept. But I don't think that's what I was going for. That sounds cool. <laughs> Six Kevins and a Melvin. Sounds like an awesome sitcom. stuck I understand that to a certain extent, but something to be said about discipline, 
I suppose. Depends what you're trying to accomplish. So mediocre. So much trouble with there today.
it's supposed to be like a, a mix of like a bunch of different terrorist groups or cults or something. I was just ordering that myself, Johnny. me
A solid opening line, let me tell you. Yeah. All right, uh, I'm going to take a five minute break. Um, yeah, I'll see you all about one o'clock Eastern. Uh, so five minutes. Cool, cool.